Hi, I'm Gajendra Kothari, a Chartered Financial Analyst and the Managing Director of a leading wealth management firm based out of Mumbai. With over 15 years of work experience in both Indian and overseas capital markets, I strive to create financial independence amongst the youth of the country by joining hands with Kendra HSBC Life Insurance Company. In this video, I'll tackle an often asked question by almost every individual. How do I minimize my taxes? This year, we have two income tax regimes. While the older regime maintains status quo, the newer regime has lower tax lapse but with no deductions allowed. One should be able to calculate all the tax deductions you are going to utilize this year and after the calculation, you can decide whether you want to go for the old regime or you want to go for the new regime. In order to minimize tax burden, we would strongly recommend to initiate this exercise at the beginning of the year rather than leaving it for the last moment. If you are a salaried individual, then you would have an overall idea that how much would be your salary in this financial year. So you can input these numbers into the tax calculator and arrive at your calculation. The first and the biggest one is section 80C, under which any individual can save up to 1.5 lakhs rupees per annum. Under section 80C, you get many investment avenues where you can claim deductions like Employees Provident Fund, Public Provident Fund, NPS, Home Loans, ELSS and the insurance policies offered by many insurance companies. Not many people are aware that Government of India has started NPS or New Pension Scheme which is spent for your retirement where under 80 CCD 1B you can save up to 50,000 rupees into this scheme. Now if you are in the highest tax bracket you can straight away save 30% here or up to 15,000 rupees in this product. One should have a separate family floater health insurance scheme even though you may be provided health insurance under your employer's group insurance scheme. The reason being that tomorrow if you are in between jobs or if the employer decides to remove the policy or downsize it, then you may be left in lurch. If you have your own insurance policy, then you will be able to build on that and tomorrow if there is any complications, you always have a second or standby option available to you. One main reason why you should go for health insurance is that Government of India gives you tax benefits. Under Section 80D, you can claim up to Rs 25,000 for your family's insurance, which covers yourself, your spouse and your children. Now, if you are paying health insurance premium for your parents as well, you can claim separate 25,000 rupees for this purpose. And a golden tip is, if your parents are senior citizens, then this deduction goes all the way up to Rs 50,000 per financial year. Let's talk about another very important section, which is Section 80E, under which you can claim tax benefits on paying the interest for your education loan. And the benefit is that the entire interest paid for the education loan per annum is tax-free. Under Section 80G, contributions made to notify trusts, relief funds, and charitable institutions are eligible for tax deductions. These tax deductions can range from 25%, 50%, and all the way up to 100%, depending on the institutions which are eligible under this tax benefit. Hope this video helps you minimize your tax burden this financial year. Happy tax planning. Thank you.